everyone, Abby here with Scrap and Abby, and just another quick tips with Abby video for you, kind of like a demo as well, and maybe a possible review, kind of all bundled into one. So this is um, a set of the wire brushes that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I haven't, um, I just got this like a couple days ago, so you have not seen this in a prior haul before. And you get three different brushes. I've already, I already took one out. This one has silver, this one's gold, and this is black. I don't really know. Um, texture wise the difference between the, between the three of them but it, you know I just went with this one so I have the Ingrid Bolden tool from Prima and on the end of this it has let's turn my thing off here real quick it has the um, tip on it where it's the metal brush wires and it works great it's it's fine I you know I, I really enjoy using this tool it's a multi-purpose tool but if you don't want to spend I think when I bought this when it first came out I think it was around 14 bucks or something if you don't want to spend that kind of money on something like that or you don't have access to one um, you can inexpensively kind of create a dupe for that by using these wire brushes from the Dollar Tree. So again, I'll hold these up close so you can see the black and the gold. And I'll take them out in the video to show you. But I'm going to be working on a specific sample I wanted to share with you. So this is a project I'm working on um, for one of my design team projects. And what I want to do is I wrap some of this really pretty kind of almost dusty rose kind of blush trim. It's a wire trim. And I cut a piece off and it's wrapped around this piece of cardboard. Sorry, my autofocus is driving me banana nut cakes. Let me turn it off here for a second. Sorry about that. So I have this wrapped around the piece of, the, of this uh, cardboard and I have a piece down here on the bottom side. I want this to be all frayed and all shabby like because that's what I love. So I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit closer. Get this to focus right here. I may have to go back to my JVC of art, I have to tell you ladies, which has nothing to do with this video, I know. But this is driving me nuts. <laughs> it keeps going in and out, in and out. And I don't want that to be a bother to all of you. So I'm just going to take this brush, as you can see, and it's got the wire edges. I'm just going to grab it, and um, I'm just going to do both ends at the same time. Of course, you can just use one piece if you want, but I'm doing both. I'm going to flip over and kind of get this top piece. I love that the strayed frazzled look like it's been caught in a dryer or I don't know something like you know it's been balled up or whatever I like that look that's you know that's just me it's a total personal crafting style I'm going to kind of snip off in a haphazard way some of these little bits here so now you can see when I hold this up how the ends are all frazzled like this and I just absolutely love that so this is just a quick way to have this kind of a tool if you don't have the funds or the you know or the means or you know the it's not close to you to buy this or you can't purchase online or whatever the Prima tool you can get three of these brushes for just a dollar and it's awesome to use for all your different distressing and crafting projects I do this kind of stuff on almost everything that I do I love doing this with seam binding and things like that it's just a really kind of um, cool technique I always just something else too I these are just little cheese boards that I got from our grocery store years ago they're what you're supposed to like put uh, brie on and you know when you kind of bake brie and that kind of thing I'm using them for the purposes as you're seeing I have a, a quite a stack of them so when I'm using my different distress tools of this nature I don't like to do it directly on my mat yes yes this is a self-healing craft mat and it'd be fine I don't like to do that I like to just kind of do it on this piece of wood that if it gets scratches or digs out pieces it's not gonna mess up my mats um, you know because the cuts I have on here are the nice clean cuts from my um, a craft knife so just kind of fill it out there in case you're wondering what I'm cutting on it's just a board so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the other two and these are also great for um, using on the edge of cardboard this one's a little bit softer of a wire brush so this is probably more geared for like you know cleaning out with some tools or something since this wasn't a tool area you could obviously use it for cleaning pretty much anything you can think of and it would also di uh, distress like seam binding I can feel it that it's stiff enough that it would do that and then this gold one and be careful when you put touch these because these are a little bit pokey um, this one's a little bit stiffer but the stiffest of the three in my opinion is this silver one it's a lot firmer so this is probably the one I'm gonna be reaching for the most because I really like that kind of distressed look so this was a new to me item from the Dollar Tree to purchase um, for the very first time and I grabbed it thinking of hey I bet I can use this for some different distressing on cardboard and 
different fabrics and different you know trims and laces and all kinds of really cool bits of materials that we use in our crafting so I just like to share new things when I find them that work for more than one purpose as well as something that's a really good deal um, especially if you're on a tight crafting budget so that is my quick tips with Abby and if anybody watching this has already used these for crafting purposes comment below and let me know because I love to chat with you ladies in the comment section to find out what you've already been using how it works for you or maybe you use these in a completely different way than what I've already suggested also when you're painting stuff to make it all shabby like whether it's wood frames and things like that these would be great for that kind of purpose too instead of using sandpaper because you can really get in the grooves with this so just want to share that with you ladies so happy scrapping happy planning happy crafting and I will see you in my next video bye <music>